Hey guys, my name is Donnie and welcome back to another episode of building a motorhome from scratch. And as you guys can remember in the last episode, I replaced all the wheels with, uh, or, the, or the tires with just some rims, second hand rims that I got, so that I could lower the motorhome to a suitable height so that I can now stop building the frame. And as you guys remember, in the last episode, I explained how I'm going to be building this frame and I'm going to be putting in a garage here at the back for the bicycles or and or whatever else I want to put in that garage. So guys, in this video, I'm planning on making the frame for the slide outs. But before I do that, I need to make some changes here at the back. Basically, this frame needs to shorten a little bit so that there will be room where I can put the garage for the bicycles and then I can start making the frame. So guys, I'm going to jump straight into it by just modifying this frame. Luckily, this rear part is still loose, so I can just remove it. And then I'm going to tactically cut it in such a fashion that I can shorten it without being wasteful with the aluminium and move it forward, weld it to, into place, and then I can start making the frame. So let me start right away. guys so I have now finished making this floor welding everything together and um, it is now at the right length so that I can build a garage at the back and I'm also going to be installing or fitting some extra um, extensions or chassis extensions that I'm going to bolt into those existing holes that's going to go all the way to the back so that that whole part can lay on the chassis but apart from that everything is done now and I can now start working on the rest of the frame. So I have written down all of the numbers so that I can cut all the aluminium and then start fabricating this frame and also cutting the hole where the door is going to go and so on. And I also just moved that gas bottle out of the way for your viewing pleasure. So let me start cutting the aluminium and I'm going to start welding everything together and hopefully it's going to start taking shape in a minute.
Okay guys, there we go. I am done with the frame. At least one of us was busy and I have finished up welding the whole frame together and it really is starting to look like business once again. I have put these extra poles up here upright just to triangulate the strength of this whole structure and also it's going to make for a nice mounting spot where we can put the seat belts and so on and also add a little bit of support on the side for side impacts not that we hope that'll ever happen but that is there now so guys i am still going to be putting some cross um, sections here on the top but i only do that after i have figured out where we're going to be putting the um, the bulkheads and so on on the inside of this structure but guys i have reached a point where i wanted to be at at least in the front so that i can now start putting these fiberglass sides on and put the electric windows in and so on so i'll be doing that next but only next week thank you guys for watching i hope to see you then cheers <laughs> <laughs>